You know, at this point in the abortion debate, it really seems like the pro-choice side of things has just completely lost touch with reality. What is up, you guys? Welcome back. So recently I was over on Twitter and for some reason I got into some back and forth exchanges with pro-choice people regarding abortion. And the arguments that I'm seeing are very similar to a lot of arguments I saw back when Roe v. Wade went down. I made a whole lot of content regarding abortion, um, responding to people, kind of talking with people over on TikTok. So these aren't like isolated arguments. These aren't just like a couple of crazy people. These are becoming very mainstream arguments for the pro-choice side. And I see so many flaws in them. And it's very clear to me that people are using specific arguments to try to morally justify their stance on abortion, but they're doing so in a way that ultimately dehumanizes the unborn baby. And personally, I think if you have to dehumanize a human being in order to feel morally sound in whatever you are supporting, you don't have any moral grounds to stand on. People are out here saying that a fetus isn't alive, that it isn't an unborn baby, and that it's not even human in some cases. Whatever you would like to refer to it as, you know, a zygote, an embryo, a fetus, which those are just different stages of development. Also, it's not all the same thing, you know. Um, you cannot deny that it is indeed a living human being. And it is an unborn baby because we call our offsprings babies. And baby is typically a term we use after birth. So before birth, it's just unborn. Like fetus is just a medical term. It, it's just medical terminology to refer to a particular stage of gestational development. And if we're going to actually sit down and have a real discussion about abortion, we have to acknowledge the realities of the situation. You know what I mean? And um, if your go-to argument is to say that they're not human beings, because of whatever arbitrary reason you decide, that is only your opinion. It is not rooted in any type of fact. It does a disservice to your own side because what happens is the pro-life side sees this and is just like, you people have lost your minds. Meanwhile, you are claiming that, you know, the pro-choice side is claiming that pro-life people are just horrible controlling people who want to control women's bodies without ever acknowledging that the root of the problem is your inability to see the humanity of the unborn baby. Pro-life people don't want to control women's bodies, like, uh, in general. Maybe there's fucking something, I don't know. But, um, <laughs> you know, no pro-life person I know is pro-life because they want to control women. A lot of us are women. You know, both sides see this as a human rights issue, but the huge divide happens wherein the pro-choice side only considers the humanity of the woman and the pro-life side considers both the humanity of the woman and the humanity of the baby and acknowledges that the baby is a human being and is deserving of basic human rights such as the right to life a lot of times when people make these like well, it's not a human being arguments. What they really mean is it's not a person. And those are two separate arguments. It's not up for debate whether or not an, a fetus, a zygote, an embryo, is or is not a human being. They are human beings. Now, we can have a personhood argument for sure, but that is also a legal argument. It's more of a, an appeal to legality. And simply because something is legal does not make it morally sound or right. And I also think there's a big flaw in that a lot of pro-choice people will say things like, well, you don't care about the woman involved whatsoever. And I think there's actually a disconnect happening because pro-choice people in general don't care or have any type of empathy for the unborn baby. So they assume that the pro-life side only cares for the baby and has no empathy for the mother, when that is just not the case. Um, you know, especially myself as a woman, I care very deeply about other women and I want them to feel supported and strong and capable and be able to raise their baby amidst the most difficult of circumstances or at the very least birth their baby and then transfer their parental obligation to somebody else through adoption. And this argument that consent to sex is not consent to a pregnancy, well, it's not direct consent to the pregnancy, but what it is is 
every single time you partake in that activity, you know that there is a chance that you could become pregnant. This is an assumption of risk. You cannot consent to every single conceivable outcome, right? Um, Like when you get in a car and you get in a car accident, you're not consenting to the car accident, but every time you get in a car, you are acknowledging and assuming the risks that you could become um, you could get an accident. So it, it's a similar line of thinking. I don't have a better analogy off the top of my head, sorry. But uh, every single time you consent to the one action that does create another human being, you are assuming the risk that you might become pregnant. And any argument counter to that is just a shirking of your own personal responsibility. There is no action that you partake in that you don't have some type of consequence for. And it is really important to take responsibility, especially when you create another human being. And every time I see these arguments popping up, it just floors me. It floors me that people are really going through these mental gymnastics in order to try to justify this, in order to just make this this unborn baby is worthless and doesn't have any type of value because I don't deem them to have value. That's a dangerous road to go down. Every single atrocity in human history has occurred because we look at a group of people and say, you don't have any value to me, so I'm going to do with you what I will. And this is all coming from somebody who used to be pro-choice, who used to make a lot of the same type of crazy arguments. I didn't go so far as to say it wasn't a human being, but I did go down the road of saying, well, it's just a fetus and it's not the same thing as a baby. Um, Yeah, well, a toddler is also not the same thing as a teenager. doesn't mean that they don't have any value. It doesn't mean that they're not alive or human. You know what I mean? Like it's just a different stage of development. It's just a a different point of, of your lifespan of the human life cycle. I just think if we're going to sit down and we're going to have this conversation and we're going to be serious about it, you cannot deny reality. You can't deny the reality that these are unborn babies. They are human beings. They are alive. And whatever silly semantics you want to play, you can't escape that. We need to have this conversation based in fact. So um, if you are a pro-choice person who makes these types of arguments, you really, really do need to look into gestational development, uh, uh, even at like the basic level, go pick up like a, a Mayo Clinic pregnancy book, you know, and look through it, go online, do some research, see how quickly things develop, see when a baby's arms develop and their legs develop and their spinal cord develops, see when their brain activity starts, see when their heart starts beating. Like these are all really important things to take note of if we're going to actually have this conversation, in my opinion. Also, I was thinking about making a video kind of like rebutting, refuting, whatever you want to call it, a bunch of pro-choice arguments. So if you'd like to see that, let me know in the comments down below, drop your best one or the one that you hear the most or the one that you see the most uh, come up and uh, I'll add that to my list. I have like a running list right now. So Um, But I don't know if that's something you guys even want to see. So just let me know. But I just had to get these thoughts out. They've been swirling around my brain and I've just been so frustrated by it. Um, And by people not seeing how flawed this way of thinking is uh, on the pro-choice side, you know, and, um, you know, for people who preached about follow the science for two years, I would really appreciate if you would stick to that and actually look up the science for human development at least like once It'd be a great help <laughs> when we're going to have this conversation. So, um, but thank you. If you stuck with me this long, I really appreciate you being here. It means more than, you know, and I'll see you in the next one.